Hi folks, Greg here. Uh, it's time for me to give you your devotional thought for the day. And today I'm gonna to talk to you, I'm gonna start off talking to you about someone named Donna. Uh, it was many years ago that uh, our youth choir took a mission trip to Charleston. And once we were in Charleston, we divided up into three different groups. And my group was the group that went to the bad side of town to do prayer walking and to meet people and to talk to people about the Lord. And you'd be surprised the great people that you can meet on the bad side of town. And one of the people that I met was this young woman named Donna. Donna was probably early 30s when I met her. And, um, and Donna had a testimony. Donna was, had been radically changed by the Lord and she wanted everyone to know about it. So when you met Donna, and this happened when I met Donna, when you met Donna, she instantly went into her testimony. She, she would instantly start saying, I lived an evil life. I did drugs. I sold my body to men so that I could buy drugs. And she would just go on for a minute about that. And then she would say, and then Jesus came into my life and he changed me. He washed my mind and my heart. He washed my body. He changed me. And she would go on for, you know, about a minute this way, just pouring out her testimony. And then she would stop for a second, like she didn't know what to do. And she would say, and that's all I have to talk about. And she, I saw her do that two or three times a week I was there. She'd stop short and go, that's all I have to talk about. She wasn't interested in talking about anything else. I'm gonna read you a passage here from 1 Peter chapter three. Uh, Peter says, always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have, but do this with gentleness and respect. That's what Donna was doing. Now, I'm not saying that you should be the person that always forces your Christian faith into every conversation. But we as Christians should always have our testimony right at the top of our hearts and ready to speak about that when the opportunities come. Always be prepared to give an answer. I wanna tell you another story, and this might be an old joke. I don't know if this is an old joke, forgive me. But uh, it was about a church on visitation night. And all the people came together um, at the church and they got their assignments and their assignment was to go out to all these various houses and to give their testimony to someone in that house. So at the end of the night, they all came back together to talk about the, the experiences that they had had in people's homes that night. And this one woman said, you know, I got out of my car and I started walking up the walk and I started shaking and I started dripping sweat. My heart was pounding and, and I was really scared to get in there and to give my testimony to someone. So I stopped, I took a few deep breaths, and I said a prayer. And she said, then I walked up to that front door and the Lord answered my prayer. And everyone said, well, what happened? She said, oh, they weren't at home. Okay, that's not us. That's not you and me, right? We're the people who are always going to be prepared to give an answer to whoever asks us. So. Remember, your testimony, that is your weapon. That is something that God gave you to share with other people. It's important. Know it and know how to share it. And be willing, always ready, to give an answer. Thank you. Hope you have a great day.